I'm here with Derek Tiller, who is a Pinery Grain Grower and the 2015 Nuffield Scholar. Derek, today you shared advice on processes family farming businesses can use to make sound decisions. What's your number one tip for family farms? I guess to um, go away from thinking of them being a family business and start to conduct themselves more professionally um, and introduce um, accountability structures and some formalisation around the decision making process involve people from outside and really really have a strategic plan that everyone agrees on to go forward then that general discussion can be made so much easier. So you won a Nuffield scholarship in 2015, mm. what did this involve? Well it involves actually there's in my year 2015 there was 23 of us from Australia uh, that we all rely on a bursary investor so uh, lucky for me I was um, invested by New Farm Australia. Uh, what this involves is, is basically an application process um, if you're successful there, you go to a state interview stage. From there, you go to a national interview stage, and then, and then of course, you get accepted if you're lucky, and you're off to a 16-week travel program across the globe. This has three components to it. There's a contemporary scholars conference, which is where uh, the seven countries involved meet up for a week-long conference. You go from there to a, the part two, which is your global focus program, which is a travel group randomly selected and you're thrown in the mix with different people from across different countries and you travel to about, I think my group traveled, traveled to seven countries in five weeks on that trip. Uh, part three is your personal study. So you go to the application stage with a topic in mind to research. And that third part is your personal travel based around researching that that um, topic. After that, you go to a report writing phase where you've got to produce a publication, a peer-reviewed publication, and and of course present it at the national conference. And and you're sort of obliged to accept. Speaking um, jobs like this, speaking job at the um, grape growing conference here in uh, Tanunda. What was your topic for the Nuffield Scholarship? So mine was by, um, around the family farm business decisions and how to improve the outcomes and the decision making process. Good. What's the biggest thing you gained from travelling overseas to study farming practices? I think the biggest thing I've gained out of the Nuffield uh, experience was probably the network that's within Nuffield itself and the branching effect that has from there. Like I can contact anyone from over this, overseas in any of the participating countries and they'll happily accept me coming to their part of the world and organising some travel or them coming to my part of the world. Uh, I've had several stay through for the last two or three years that are travelling through researching in their own right that would stay at my place and I'd help them with uh, tour visits and things like that. So it's that network that's really a huge resource for us all. Given what you learned overseas, what do you think South Australian primary producers could adopt to ensure sound decisions are made? Yeah, I think the, there's the three key components is the business planning, which is part of the, under the macro manage better banner for me in my report, um, really having a strategic plan, really involve everyone in creating that plan, have some common goals, some targets, really think about the end point of your working career. As long, along with that, the other components would formalise all those discussions, involve uh, outsiders with that, the experienced people, the right people, and that's that other third component is resource, resource, really outsource those specialty skills that you probably lack in your own management skill set. Cool. One final question for you, what's your favourite wine variety to drink at the moment? Favourite wine variety would be a, maybe an Eden Valley Tempranillo.